it's extremely cold. This is the coldest this boat has ever been. We are gonna leave. The snow's starting. We got back to the boat late last night, and although it's warmed up significantly, we're definitely not out of winter yet. The temperatures are much more tolerable though. When we left, we were at minus 10 degrees Celsius with a wind chill of minus 20, and now we're kind of hovering around minus two to plus two weather. Um, so big, big difference, especially for our space heaters. They seem to be able to keep up a little better in this kind of weather. Um, I think we're, the cabin temperature is sitting around 10 degrees. So, and it kind of, that's kind of the coldest it'll be, and then it'll kind of jump up to 12 or 13 Celsius. So it's, it's much more bearable. It's, um, yeah, I just have to bundle up a little better. So that's good. The harbor is still frozen. I can't believe it. I've never seen it frozen this long. We actually, we went down to check on the boat. We were only gone for, I think, max two days. Um, and we went, we went to check on the boat every day just to make sure things were we're looking okay and they were none of our water lines froze and everything looks just fine it just got really cold i think the coldest we saw it was hovering right around zero so i'm sure overnight it may have dropped below zero degrees but yeah all in all everything's fine um we did come one day and the boat was completely frozen into the water the ice on top of the water was actually kind of holding the boat the boat didn't rock as much, um, if that makes sense. Like when, when you get on, usually the boat kind of rocks a little bit and it just stayed put. Um, so that was pretty crazy. We got a lot of ice. I've only ever really seen it kind of slush up. Um, and sometimes you can pull like a really thin sheet of ice, but the ice that we saw was like, it was a pretty good thickness for the ocean. So yeah, we were really, really grateful to have a warm place. To stay for those couple days but i was checking the weather last night and they had a special weather statement warning up which is basically describing risk of heavy snowfall and or freezing rain and now this morning yeah still severe weather alert we have a snowfall warning snowfall accumulations approximately 10 to 20 centimeters a pacific low pressure system is bringing widespread snow tonight throughout this afternoon tonight oh oh this is from last night Snow become, may become mixed with rain. Risk of freezing rain, and then they just keep going on. So we're definitely not out of winter yet. <laughs> it tricked us there for a little bit. We had the mildest winter we've ever had up until the new year, and now we've probably had the, well, we did have record-breaking low temperatures, and I've never seen it this cold. So it's looking like we might be in for another bit of weather here.
Can you find some water? Yes, our the hose near us froze, so we just carry it over from the <sighs> Well, a little weather update for you is that it's still snowing and the winter weather advisory is now a snowfall warning and yeah, they were correct. We are certainly getting lots of snow. Luckily the temperatures um, are rising a little bit. They're kind of like minus two, minus three now instead of our minus 10. We've been a week straight now of this crazy weather. The snow is so fun though, it's, it kind of makes it a little more, a little more interesting and more fun to play around in compared to the icy windstorms. Unfortunately our water is frozen and so we're kind of navigating that right now. Thinking back we definitely should have put some precautionary measures in place because we left for a couple days and I think that's probably when it froze when we had that minus 10 with minus 20 wind chill and everything just froze right over. We thought that the nozzle was cracked but it wasn't so we should have really made sure and checked. We came back and checked on the boat every day but we should have checked that nozzle because well we filled up a few days prior to the big freezing event if you will um, our water is, is quite low, so Jonas went and got, there is one tap working on the dock, so Jonas went and filled up our two blue jugs and we're just in very minimal water mode because I know it can take a while for those to get fixed. Um, it's not just like it thaws out and fixes itself again, because it, otherwise it'd be running right now, I think. So we might be transporting our water a little further for the next week or so, but yeah been a whirlwind of weather. We're just taking it one step at a time and, and really thankful to be back on the boat. We missed it here. Um, it's never fun to have to leave, but I think it was a really good call because it would have been just too cold. 